Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. We're at Tracy King Cobra Boxing Club. And you're watching True School Sports. Just shameless plug. Go down in the comment section, all right? You'll see it. And go to the official True School Sports merch store to get yourself a hoodie like this or a tank top like this. It's great stuff. If you, if you get one of these True School Sports shirts, I guarantee you, your, your success with women will, go, will, will, will quadruple. Guaranteed. Absolutely. Uh, w one guy that you used to train, you, you, you spent time with him, was uh, Alexander Povetkin. And, right. and recently he just, you know, he, he went pretty much viral. He, he, he delivered the knockout of the year against Dillian White in an upset victory. Uh, what did you think about the knockout? Uh, you know, it just, everybody know and, uh, that, that Povetkin, and I have seen him with Brian. Um, Brian called me from London. I, did, I was on his channel, but I explained to him about Povetkin. Uh, I spent a lot of time with Quebec and I trained him in the area to fight with Letterman Klitschko. And, um, which was, Klitschko hadn't lost a fight in 11 years. And um, I was telling Brian, I said, one thing about Quebec, Quebec is 40 years old, going on 35. I said, you got to understand this kid lives clean. Uh, he trains exceptional hard. He eats well. He does everything uh, that you ask him to do in boxing. He knows where he is in boxing. I said, so don't let the age really fool you, although he's not he's not gonna be as quick as he once was. I said, but he's very experienced. I said, Dillian White is a lot younger, you know, he's strong, he's tough, he's been there before, he's some good fighters, but if the fight go to distance, then I, was, I got to give White the, uh, the edge uh, over a decision. I said, but he still got to be careful because, you know, the veteran has a good left hook. And then, and that's and that's what that's where I, I saw it. I said he got a good left hook and a good punch, he's not as fast as he used to be. But he's more methodical, and that's what that's what happened. You know, you didn't see a lot of speed from Pavetkin, but when he turned his shot loose, he knew what he was doing. He placed the punch. You know, uppercut is a dangerous, is a very dangerous punch in boxing. Absolutely, you know, and he's and he's probably, he's one of those guys that you on, you only beat a, a Pavetkin if you're a truly elite heavyweight. And I know from talking to you in the past, you never you've never been high on Dillian White. No, I've never been that high on, on Dillian White. I mean, he he, he come to fight. Uh, he's been well promoted self-promoted on the internet. Um, he was looking good and fight hard against uh, uh, AJ, uh, Anthony Joshua, and he was looking good and took a big, tough guy. That's, that's all look good. But uh, as far as being a superior heavyweight, no, I've never been that, that high on him. Yeah. So uh, do, do you think uh, he can rebound from the loss, or do you think Pavekin's gonna just has his number and he's gonna get him again? Well, I don't see those two. I, I was asked that question. Um, that they're talking about a rematch. Yeah, there's a clause. Yeah, but I, 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 as a manager, as a fight manager, and a promoter, I don't see where that's a good fight for Pavekin. I mean, what does he have to prove? I mean, I think I think <laughs> that Pavekin, at this at this point, with that type of knockout, that type of knockout in the heavyweight division, I mean, I mean, this guy's flat on his back. Okay, you take that sensational knockout, why you go backwards? Why don't you go forward? Why don't you be looking at AJ uh, uh, Tyson Fury? You earn you earn that respect and you earn the rights uh, uh, to fight for them. And the media would love to see him in one of those type of fights. I mean, because because of the, the sensational knockout. You got a knockout, but when you get a sensational knockout, why go back to the same place? It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I'm sure unless he'll need some crazy money. Yeah. I'm sure he'll get paid well to fight Fury of uh, uh, Anthony Joshua. I mean, that was one of the best knockouts of the last five years, easily. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. I mean, it was, I mean, he was really stretched out. I mean, <laughs> all the way out, you know, and, and um, people were predicting that, 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 you know, he should win, this type of thing. But a lot of these guys, you know, they, they've been promoted on the internet, and I call them... Um, internet fighters. Internet fighters. Yeah. So you got a lot of internet fighters, and they started believing their own hype. You know, I remember a long time ago, Don King told us in a meeting, he said, look, you know, he said, I'm promoting Mike Tyson is the baddest man on the planet Earth, okay? He said, but don't you all believe the hype? He's still a human being, okay? He's not the baddest man on the planet Earth, but this is what I'm saying, and we're going to continue to knock out people, and that's it. So when you started getting fighters promoting themselves, which I maybe they have to do that now because you don't have the type of promoter like Don King who get out there and actually promote the fighter. So now fighters are being left to promote themselves. And in doing so, they started believing their own hype to the point where they even stopped training. You know, they stopped training because they believe in this and then they want to 
take what they're doing in the ring and in the training and sessions and put it on the internet and look at what I'm doing. And a guy like me sitting there and say, yeah, just keep doing that. So I can keep studying you, get to know you. And then, and then, and then you got all their fans gassing up saying, oh my God, you a, you a dog, you a beast, you a different breed. And that's, that's just that's the worst thing for the mental psyche going yeah, into. Yeah, you get knocked out. And then on the, on the other side, then. They say, eat trash. Yeah, he, he, he's <laughs> trash. So then you, you can't really blame the fighters because, you know, they're not being promoted uh, the way that they should. Nobody's really speaking up for them. So they're promoting themselves. So they got an outlet now, you know, where it's time. They didn't have that. So, you know, you can say anything about yourself. You can go out there and lift some weights and put on the internet. And say, oh, my God, he's so strong. And then, you know, <laughs> so. Then the fighter began to believe all of this. Yeah. My name is Michael McDonough, and this is my friend. Hi, I'm Susanna. And we're here at the beautiful Madison Square Garden for the big fight, and you are watching.